It is very much a mountain of mystery, and it's inside of Snohomish County. Now, I am at a park in Everett that has some elevation. They even have a display here showing what the Cascades look like in good weather. And out here, beyond Mount Pilchuck, is what you can see, a peekaboo shot of Glacier Peak. The eruption of Mount St. Helens was first and foremost a massive explosion, an explosion that blew off the top 1,300 feet of the volcano's height, sending ash 80,000 feet up into the air and into communities east of the Cascades. It's that capacity for an explosive eruption that brings us to Glacier Peak. So Glacier Peak is the second most active explosive volcano in the Cascades behind Mount St. Helens. But part of the risk is how many people are exposed to that, to the hazard of that potential eruption. Alexa Van Eaton is a physical volcanologist for the Cascades Volcano Observatory in Vancouver, Washington. Yes, Mount Rainier is considered the third most dangerous volcano in North America, in large part because it's much closer to bigger populations in Puyallup and Tacoma. But explosions and massive amounts of falling ash are just one major hazard. What happens to rapidly melting snow and ice that live on the top of the mountain? When that ice melts quickly in an eruption, it quickly forms devastating lahars. So, you know, those rivers flow towards Darrington and, and onward. So any, any lahar from Glacier Peak would be something we would be really concerned about. Van Eaton and her colleagues were back on Glacier Peak last fall for two weeks backpacking in the wilderness, trying to learn more about the mountain's eruptive tendencies, studying layers of ash and mud from previous eruptions for clues to timing. Just when was the last big explosion? But the other thing that we were able to tackle in a wonderful amount of detail is the younger eruptions from Glacier Peak, the stuff that's happened over the past 2,000 years and maybe even as young as 200 years ago. But scientists say they also need more real-time monitoring of Glacier Peak. Right now, there is only one seismometer on the mountain, and seismometers are necessary in order to pick up on tiny earthquakes that can show that magma deep inside the mountain is starting to move and they're hoping they can get more seismometers up there in 2022. In Everett, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.